In this video, we are going to cover all about the postgraduate programs at IIC Bangalore. And I will also list some of the top programs at IIC Bangalore that you can apply through GATE. Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. My name is Varun and I am currently an MTech student at IIT Bombay in the Department of Electrical Engineering. IIC Bangalore is one of the oldest institutes in India. It is one of the best institute in India for research and it has several tie-ups with industry and government agencies. After the GATE exam, IIC Bangalore is the earliest to release application forms to its postgraduate programs. The application process happens between mid of February to mid of March. Since it is so early, just after giving the GATE exam, many students miss the deadline. It would be very unfortunate to miss an opportunity of getting into such a great institute. The institute focuses mainly on research, so its postgraduate programs are one of the best in the country. Now let's get into the types of postgraduate programs offered at ISC Bangalore. The postgraduate programs can mainly be categorized into two categories. The first one is the course program which includes MTech, Masters in Management and Masters in Design. The second one is research program which includes MTech research and PhD. Let me explain how is the MTech research program different from MTech coursework program. MTech research is a research oriented masters program which has more weightage to the research theses. In this program, candidate has to work on a research project under the guidance of an advisor which is decided during the time of the interview. Whereas the MTech coursework program is your regular MTech program which has more weightage to the coursework. The candidate has to complete the courses in the first year and then work on a research project in the final year. The duration for the MTech coursework program is fixed for two years. Whereas the duration of the MTech research program varies from two to three years. Apart from these engineering programs, ISC Bangalore also offers product design and management programs through GATE. I was going through the admission brochure and found out that there are very few programs which take admission directly on the basis of GATE score. Most of the programs have some weighted to the GATE score and the remaining weightage to test or interview depending on the program. So this is a great opportunity if you have an average GATE score since you can cover up in the return test and admission interviews. I will provide all the important links in the description below so please check them out to know more. Now let me list some of the top programs at IIC Bangalore that you can apply to. The first one is Artificial Intelligence. This is the two-year MTech program which is jointly offered by Electronics, Electrical and Computer Science Department of IIC Bangalore. Gate papers which are eligible to apply are CS, EE and EC. The final admission is based on 70% gate score and 30% return test. The syllabus for the return test is Linear Algebra, Probability, data structures and algorithms and programming questions. The second one is computational and data science. This department offers both MTech coursework and MTech research programs. There are several gate papers which are eligible to apply for these programs. For admissions, students are first shortlisted based on their gate score followed by a test and an interview. The syllabus for the test is linear algebra, probability, calculus, data structures and basic programming. In the oral interviews, students are asked questions on their core subjects the final admission is based on 70% GATE score and 30% test and oral interview. The third one is Computer Science and Automation. This department offers both MTech coursework and MTech research programs. For the MTech coursework program, only GATE CS students are eligible to apply. Admission for the MTech coursework program is based on 70% GATE score and 30% test. For admission to MTech research program, they also conduct interviews. The fourth one is Electrical Engineering. This department offers both MTech coursework and MTech research programs. Admission for the MTech coursework program is based on 70% GATE score and 30% oral interview. The areas of research of this department include power electronics, power systems, high voltage engineering, etc. For the MTech coursework program, students who have given GATE paper in electrical engineering are only eligible to apply. The fifth one is Quantum Technology. This department only offers the two-year MTech coursework program. All GATE specializations with a valid GATE score are eligible to apply. Admission is based on 70% GATE score and 30% interview. The sixth one is Robotics and Autonomous Systems. This department only offers the two-year MTech coursework program. Several GATE specializations are eligible to apply for this program. Admission is based on 70% GATE score and 30% interview. In the interview, candidates are asked questions from basic engineering and mathematics. The seventh one is management. For all the students who are interested in management, ISC Bangalore also offers masters in management through GATE. Selection is based on 15% GATE score 
फिफ्टीन परसेंट परफॉर्मेंस इन योर अंडर ग्रेजुएट थर्टी परसेंट कम्युनिकेशन स्किल्स एंड द रेस्ट फोर्टी परसेंट इज बेस्ड ऑन योर परफॉर्मेंस इन द इंटरव्यू सो दीज वर सम ऑफ द टॉप प्रोग्राम्स दैट यू कैन अप्लाई एट आई एस सी बैंगलोर सम ऑफ द प्रोग्राम्स लाइक क्वांटम टेक्नोलॉजी एंड रोबोटिक्स एंड ऑटोनोमस सिस्टम्स आर वेरी न्यू एंड आई एस सी बैंगलोर कीप्स कमिंग अप विद न्यू इंटर डिसिप्लिनरी प्रोग्राम्स सो टू नो मोर अबाउट सच प्रोग्राम्स प्लीज गो थ्रू दर एडमिशन ब्रोशर दिस इज नॉट अ कम्प्लीट लिस्ट of all the programs which are offered at ISC Bangalore there are several other courses not covered in this video which again you can find in the admission brochure i will provide a link to all these courses in the description below so please check them out i hope this video gave you a good idea about the masters program at ISC Bangalore if you want me to make a video on any specific topic then please let me know in the comment section thanks for watching and see you in the next video